I know a lot of you are trying to build muscle and hit PRs at the gym while still going home to scroll on TikTok and sleep until fucking 3 in the morning and then waking up at 6. You know who you are. Let's say we have you, the viewer. Probably like 90% of you watching go to sleep late and then wake up early as shit for things like school or work. You barely get any damn sleep and the only time you can is during the summer because there's no school. But summer doesn't last forever, so improving your sleep schedule outside of it is vital. Like let's say you try building muscle while getting fucking 3 hours of sleep a night. You could have the world's greatest training plan with ultra-optimized techniques. You could have every meal be anabolic and perfectly timed. You could have Chris Bumstead and Revival Fitness be your full-time coaches. But all of it will go to shit. Almost every session you're coming in looking like fucking Mark Zuckerberg on Benadryls and then doing I show speed ass bench press reps. You can barely hit PRs as a beginner lifter which you should literally be doing bi-weekly. And you just don't feel very energized for anything. You feel as demotivated as you always do, if not worse. Maybe there's just something wrong with your motivation. Maybe you're just not trying hard enough and digging deep down for your inner anger and inner demons to get you through workouts. Maybe you're just not cut out for this. Or maybe you're just too fucking tired. You don't have to live your life like this. Falling asleep through school and absolutely dreading waking up, going on Reddit to post about how unfair school sleep schedules are, and throwing all the blame on your circadian rhythm. But a lot of you already know that it's bad to have a bad sleep schedule, and just find it really difficult to have a good one. Trust me bro, I was there too. I remembered when I was a dumbass 7th grader and pulling all nighters with my fucking iPad. If you told me all this back then, I wouldn't have given a shit. I wasn't even lifting at the time either, but I have gone through my own advice that I'll give you. I know how difficult it can be to just fall asleep when you want nowadays. So let me get right into it. I'm black and I love black people, but if two witches watch, two watches, which witch watched, which watched? I'll order the list from most convenient to least convenient. Tip number one, keep screens away from your room when you're about to sleep. This is probably the one that affects a majority of you the most, even though you've probably heard it a billion times. And no, don't cope by just turning on night shift mode and using blue light protection glasses. How do you expect to fall asleep when your brain is constantly being stimulated by talking to your friends, binging on social media, or playing video games? Simple answer, you can't, or it's very difficult to. But it's pretty hard to remove these devices yourself because they can be very addicting. So instead, try to have a family member, preferably your parents, hold on to your devices until the next morning. I think this tip right here was the game changer for me. So if you truly do give a shit about your sleep and making gains in the gym, take action on this tip right now when the video is done. Like seriously, just ask your mom, dad, or older siblings if they can take your phones and TV remotes after like 8.30 p.m. Tip number two, don't eat too much before bed. Your parents have probably told you this a ton, I know mine have, but eating too many foods with a lot of protein or fat before bed can impact your body's hormones, such as orexin, which is a hormone that can keep you more alert. Definitely not what you want when you're trying to fall asleep. Also avoid spices as that can raise your body temperature. Which will make the segue into my next tip as to why higher body temperatures are bad for sleep. Tip number 3. Keep your room as cool and as dark as possible. Your body needs to lower its temperature by 1-2 to two degrees in order for you to fall into deep sleep. So make sure to turn on those fans and air conditioners, as well as turning off all the lights including night lights and closing all the curtains. Studies have shown that even having something as simple as a tiny little candle in the corner of a room can negatively impact your sleep quality. Just make sure not to wake up in the middle of the night when it's pitch black and fall and die. Tip number 4. Practice mindfulness and calmness. This one will of course take a bit to get into the habit of and actually benefit from, but practicing mindfulness can greatly benefit those such as myself who have a lot of trouble sleeping from things like stress, anxiety, and just clouded thoughts. Even while laying in bed, what I've done is instead of letting negativity take over, I focus on one thing like my breath, maybe goals I have, or just simply something I was grateful for that day. It's getting in the habit of doing things like that which will make you a happier and more mindful person. It's easy to let negativity take over, so just don't let it. Put in the damn effort. Tip number five, exercise daily. This one of course as well will take longer to build a habit of, but even just moderate intensity jogging or walking throughout the day can really benefit your cardio, get you more tired for the night, etc. And it's just good to do regardless if it improves your sleep. Like, come on, you're watching a dude named Random Fitness. Tip number six, invest in supplements like melatonin. Your body already makes this shit naturally and if you're a teenager, your body probably produces it later than you want to go to sleep. So having it as a pill or gummy you can take can help a lot. 
For doses, I would recommend 3 to 5 milligrams. Use this as a last resort though. And my seventh and final tip, be patient and work up to better sleep. Look, watching a video like this won't magically grant you better sleep, obviously. I know a majority of you wanting to improve their sleep will just watch this and barely or half-assedly apply my tips. I mean, you do you, but I know you really want to see changes in your sleep. Applying these tips isn't a matter of a quick fix that you'll do tonight and then forget about the next day. You're going to need to build up the discipline to do a lot of these things for the rest of your life. It's a matter of the long game. Don't start by trying to apply as many tips as you can at once. Choose one, preferably the first one, and then build up the habits of that tip until you start seeing results. And only then should you consider incorporating another tip and so on. If you're wondering how to build up a tip, let's just say you chose the first one, which is to get rid of screens at night. Let's say you usually stay awake until 1am on Instagram Reels or something, but want to go to sleep by 10pm. The transition from 1am to 10pm is pretty harsh and you will be hesitant to give up your devices so early. So just simply start with giving your devices to your parents at 12.30am and when that becomes second nature, give your devices to your parents 15 minutes earlier at a time until you eventually reach your target bedtime. It will take effort and adjustment, especially at the jumps in time, but improving your life anywhere takes effort. So it's up to you to put in that effort and finally fix your sleep schedule once and for all. And that's all I have left to share with you, brother. Good luck and take action. Thank you for listening to me ramble like always. And have a great rest of your day.